Jesus is still the healer. He was the healer. He is the healer. He will always be the healer. What do you do when sickness or disease tries to attack your body? Join Gloria Copeland today for Healing School as she shares an encouraging message and leads you in a prayer and confession for your healing. Next on The Believer's Voice of Victory. Today we're going to receive our healing. We're going to lay hold of healing. Jesus is still the healer. He was the healer. He is the healer. He will always be the healer. I'm not the healer, but I can tell you these things about the Word of God that will bring faith and we will act on them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, uh, the woman with, let's look at the woman with the issue of blood speaking about acting on the Word of God, Mark 5. She's a famous woman. Very famous. She, she, she let us know what we're supposed to do. All right, 525. Oh, I remember Brother Hagin preaching on this. The woman with the issue of blood. Now remember, Jesus is, Jesus is having a healing meeting. Glory to God. And uh, people besought him greatly. They wanted, one man wanted him to come pray for his daughter because he was, she was at the point of death. Jesus went with him, and many people followed him and thronged him. That would be Mark 5. This is 25. And now in all this throng, and you know this woman, but she's, she's a good example of how we take our healing. A certain woman which had an issue of blood for 12 years. This is Mark 5:25 and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better, better but rather grew worse, she heard something exciting. She heard about Jesus. When she'd heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, now we learn, we learn faith from this woman. We learn that faith takes it. We learn that faith receives it. We learn that faith acts it. She said, and faith says it. Faith said, she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. We've talked about faith this week. Faith, uh, your, your faith is always in your words. If you're, if you're speaking sickness, you don't have any faith in healing. If you're speaking healing, you don't have any faith in sickness. We get what we say, the Scripture says. She said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. She declared it. And uh, the straightway, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue or power had gone out of him, turned and said, who touched my clothes? And his disciples said, you see the multitude thronging you, and you say, who touched me? He looked around and see her, to see her had done this thing, but the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell at his, at his feet, and he said to her, thy faith has made thee whole. Now, Brother Hagin used to say if anybody anywhere would do these four things that that woman did, they could receive anything from the Lord. Number one, she said it. She said what she was doing and what she was going to do and what would happen when she did it. If I just touch his garment, I shall be whole. She didn't say maybe I would be. She said I shall be whole. And then she did it. It wasn't easy. She was a sick woman and she was bleeding. She was not supposed to. It was against the rules for her to be out in that condition. But she said, if I but touch his garment, I shall be whole. That was her faith. She did it. She got out of that place. And she got down and she fought. And she came in, what does it say? The press behind. And she touched his garment. She, she was saying, if, he doesn't have to even know I'm there. If I just can touch him. 
I'll be healed. So she, she, she made the determination of how she's going to be healed with her, with her words. She touched him, so she said it. She did it. She got to where the garment was. She received it, and we talked earlier this week that faith, the word receive, is, uh, the word uh, receive is to take it. The word uh, for our faith, believe you receive it when you pray, take it when you pray, and that word means take it, take it, take it. Every time you see receive in the scripture, it's take it. So you know it's an action word. It, it's, some, it's not just, when we read the English word receive, we just think, well, it's like, if somebody's going to give me a gift, I'll receive it. But I didn't take it until they put it in my hands. And I mean, I didn't receive it until they put it in my hands. But in this situation, this Greek word means take it. I take it. I take my healing. At the first sign of a symptom or sickness or a bad feeling or anything else, which I rarely ever have, I take my healing. I don't call the pastor. I don't wait till the church service. I take it immediately and I say, no, you don't. I've been delivered from every sickness and every disease. I rebuke this. I'll not have it. Get off my body in the name of Jesus. Get bossy with the devil. You're not supposed to be bossy with your husband or your wife or your friends, but it's all right to take it out on the devil. All that bossiness you'd like to use on somebody else, use it on the devil. And then you can go free from all these bad things. So she said it. She said, if I touch it, if I but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. That's how faith works. You say it, if it's money, you say it, you act on it, you receive it, or you take it, and you tell it. Glory to God. That's how faith works. Take it. Faith takes the answer. Faith takes the finances. Faith takes the healing. Glory to God. Faith takes wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth liberally. We ask in, favor, in faith and we say, Lord, show me what to do about this. I'm taking my wisdom right now from you and you reveal it to me and I'll do it. And he'll do it. He'll reveal it to you. And when you and I get to where we'll take on things and we'll take our healing on and we'll take on our finances and all, just like that woman did, and we keep saying, and we fight the fight of faith, and we come through the problems and the throng and all the situation and the, the, the shots and the sickness and the pills and everything, the doctor's report. We just keep going and we keep saying, Jesus is going to heal me. Jesus is going to heal me. Don't I look like Jesse when I do that? Jesus is going to heal me. <laughs> Jesus is going to heal me. Glory to God. And I'm telling you what, Jesus will heal you. That's what he does. He is the healer. He wants us well. He bore our sicknesses and carried our diseases. And by his stripes, we were healed. If I were healed, I am healed. I am healed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. And you can have that healing service, just you and Jesus right there in your house, glory to God, hallelujah, take your healing at the first sign of a symptom. Don't wait, just get right on it. Say, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You're not coming on my body. I was healed by the stripes of Jesus. Jesus himself took my sicknesses and carried my diseases, and by his stripes I was healed. If I was healed, I am healed. And I take it. That's exactly what she did. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take healing. Glory to God. And Jesus is going to heal us. See, that's what we do. We say what we believe, and if we say the right things, the right things happen. But if we say, I don't think I'm going to make it, I think, I, you know, I've gotten a bad report, and the doctor says I've got too much to live, and... And uh, you call all your friends and tell them you've got two months to live. I've got two months to live. I've got two months to live. What are you doing? You're saying the wrong thing. You've got to take your healing. 
And you can do it. Just one person, just you and God, you can get healed. You don't have to have a crowd. You don't have to have a preacher. Take it. See, take it. Remember, faith takes it. If you go from this convention and you remember that one thing about faith, it'll help you so much. Faith doesn't just lie down and mealy mouth and I hope, I hope so. I hope I'm going to, I hope, I'm hoping I'm going to get, I'm, I'm hoping to get that bill paid. You, you say, I am healed. You say, I have my bills paid. You say, I am out of debt. Every bill is paid. You're not hoping. You're saying. You're doing. What are you doing? You're taking it. If you, could, if you would just remember this one thing, that if you want answers to your prayers, take it when you pray, just like the one with the issue of blood did. And today when we pray, and it's not going to be long, we're going to be praying over healing, and you take it. Take your healing. If you don't need healing today, we'll just make another stand for your health. I take divine health. I keep divine health. I thank you that I don't have any sickness and disease, and I take my health and I keep it. So make a strong statement of faith about living healed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can do it because Jesus paid the price. He bore the curse. Scripture says he took the whole curse in himself for us so that we could be free from the curse. Sickness and disease is under the curse. Every bad thing is under the curse. And we're not under the curse. We are the healed. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. My Jesus, my Jesus, we thank you. Power goes out of the Lord today to heal us. Let's look at Isaiah 53. This is a, a healing scripture. This is a major healing scripture. And it's a done deal. And then we're going to take it. We've talked about the woman with the issue. We're going to look at this, get this in our, in our eyes and do it before we act on it. Oh, thank you, Lord. Aren't we grateful that we've got a Bible? Isaiah 53 says, uh, Who has believed our report, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He, sh he hath no form or comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty in him that we should desire him. He is despised, rejected of men. This is our Savior talking about. He is despised, rejected of men a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. But here's the bottom line. Here's the way it really was. That was maybe the way, that was the way people looked at the in the natural. But here is the answer. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. And we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Glory to God. Now I'm going to read that to you in the Amplified Bible. Hallelujah. This is the one you, when you're, when you're at home and you're receiving your healing, this is where you go. Surely, this is verse 4 in the Amplified, surely he has borne our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses, and carried our sorrows, pains of punishment. In other words, the curse. He talks the same thing it says in other places. It says he bore the curse. But this time in the Amplified, it says sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses carried our sorrows and pains, yet we ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God. When did that happen? When Jesus was on the cross, he bore the curse for you and me. Now under that curse, we've, we've seen it's every sickness and every disease is under the curse. Sin is under the curse. Everything that Jesus bore for me on the cross, 
I can live free of. And he bore my sins, my sicknesses, my weaknesses and distresses and sorrows. We considered him afflicted by God, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our guilt and iniquities. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with the stripes that wounded him, we are healed and made whole. Jesus bore my sicknesses and carried my diseases. Jesus bore my wounds. Jesus bore the curse, the whole curse for me. Glory to God. Now we're going to act on that scripture today and we're just going to take our healing by faith. We're going to take it in faith. Amen. Glory to God. Those of you that need, everybody let's do this because it's good to take healing when you're well. Amen. I mean, we take healing when we're well. That's what we do when we read the Word of God. When we read the Word of God, it's being made a blessing to us and healing to our flesh. Hallelujah. So, let's stand up. Let's just take it. Let's just take the Word of God. Jesus Himself bore our sins, our sicknesses, Every sickness and every, it says every sickness is in the curse. It says even if it's not written down here, it's under this curse. New sicknesses come out, they automatically are under the curse. And so we have redemption from them. And Jesus is the healer. He bore it for us. He paid the price. He took it. He took the whole curse on himself, every sickness, every disease, so that you and I can be free. And Jesus is... How many of you, Jesus is your Lord and Savior? Yes. How many of you, Jesus is your healer? Yes. That's right. The same time he bore sin, he bore sickness and disease. Yes. So let's just, let's just receive our healing. What are we going to do now? We're going to take our healing. We're going to take it. We're not just going to make a confession. We're not just going to do this, do that. We're taking our healing. Yes. Amen. I'm going to pray for you first, and then I'm going to lead you in that uh, receiving. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do love you. We do praise you. Jesus, we acknowledge you as our healer. You are our healer. You are the one that's delivered us from the curse and every sickness and every disease. And so all of us come, and, and also the curse of sin that opens the door to those things. We thank you, Lord, that when we pray today, <clears throat> and we receive you as our healer, you'll forgive our sins. We confess that as we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive them. Every person of every, every person of every sickness, every sin. And so at the beginning of this prayer, I'm going to lead you in a confession of Jesus is Lord. And if you've already done that, just we're just leading other people that have, haven't done that into that confession. We'll get delivered from sin. We'll get delivered from sickness and disease. We'll just take our miracle, whatever it is. Now, when we pray, that's when we believe we receive it. When we pray, we say amen, we take it. That's ours. And you begin to do what you couldn't do before. If you couldn't walk, move, run, do something. You couldn't bend over, bend over. I mean, you're just not going to disturb a thing. We're just going to act on the Word of God. I'm going to pray for you, then I'm going to lead you in prayer. Father, I lift up every person in this place. <clears throat> we believe your word. We take your word. And I thank you, Lord, that your healing anointing is always present to heal everywhere we are. All we have to do is receive it, take it, release our faith. And so I'm going to lead in prayer. We're all going to come into agreement, and we are going to receive. All right, say this, Jesus, Jesus you, are my savior. you are my Savior. You are my healer. Are my healer. I thank you that you bore my sicknesses, sicknesses. carried my, my diseases, and by your stripes I was healed. And on the basis of that word, I take my healing in faith. I receive my healing. I receive my now we're going to talk to sickness and disease. You say this, sickness, sickness disease, disease infirmity, infirmity, inability, inability, 
ability to move, the ability to move. Every, sickness, every sickness, every disease, every disease is, under is under that curse. Every malfunction is under that curse. Every malfunction is under that Heart curse. troubles under the curse. Heart trouble, Heart trouble. under the curse. Every cancer is under the curse. Every sickness is under the curse. And in the name of Jesus, I command my body. Put your hands on your head. I command my body to be made whole. I am healed. I am saved. I am delivered. I rebuke drugs. And I say, I am delivered from every evil work. I am healed of every sickness and disease. And I take it now. In Jesus' name. It's mine. Now begin to act on it. Do what you can do before. If you could. always comes to healing school. I said, when she starts praying, the healing power of God is going to come over me, and when I uh -huh. touch myself, I'm right. going to be healed in Jesus' name. And I have you know that the healing power of God came over me. I felt him in my body, and I decided to run, and I ran, and I ran, and I ran. We take our Ms. Gloria, this is Jessica Scroggins from Greensboro, North Carolina. 22 years old. She's a bit of an athlete. She loves to, to enjoy running. But she has battled for 10 years some back problems. Her hip would just come out and ankle problems. She couldn't run without all kind of cushions and bandages. Oh. But this morning, she decided to take the word. Thank and I wanted you. to share this with you. And today, I, I've been standing on the Word of God all week. I believe that God is going to do something yes. at that healing school. And this morning when I was up there, you read that scripture about your bones. And I said, you know what, that is for me. My bones are healed. And I have you know that the healing power of God came over me. I felt Him in my body and I decided to run. And I ran and I ran and I ran with no cushions on my feet, with no braces, and I'm healed with no pain. Whoa. And I had asthma and there was no constriction in my lungs. I am healed in Jesus' name. I was running, I felt my chest being, you know, getting tight. And I said, if he can heal my back, he can heal my lungs too. And God gave me the desires of my heart, and I'm going to run. I just deal with my, you know, my body otherwise. And I just thank God that I can run you know, without problems with my back, on my ankle, on my heel. I just give God the glory. And I was just running and running on this concrete floor. I, I, I took it, and I ain't giving it back. <laughs> Jessica took the scripture about healing during healing school, and she took her healing for her bones, and for asthma. That's the way faith is. That's the way it is where, whether it's money you're believing for, a job you're believing for, a, a mate you're believing for, you believe you receive it when you pray and you take it. Whether it's your healing, you take it. So I'm going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up every person listening. I command, in Jesus' name, I command every sickness and every disease to leave your body and your mind right now in Jesus' name. And for you, you, yes, you, be healed from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in the name of Jesus. Now you say, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I take you as my healer. I receive you as my healer. I am healed. That settles it. I have it. 
You're my Savior. You're my healer. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Hallelujah. So, so if, if you want to reiterate and look at the prayer and confession from today's message, check it out. We prayed the prayer of faith. Whatever you're believing God for, you pray the prayer of faith according to Mark 11. And you receive it when you pray. In other words, you take it when you pray and you will have it. Today is offering day and I'm going to pray over your money today. So fig just decide what you're going to sow or if you have it in hand right now, put your hand on it, pray over it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over the offering today. In Jesus' name, we believe that as we sow, so shall we reap many fold, a hundred fold, thirty, sixty, and a hundred fold, and we take our, our increase now as we pray in Jesus' name. So when you sow, take the increase just like you learn to take your healing. That's whatever you believe you receive when you pray, that's what you get. That word receive means to take in the Greek. So we take things when we pray. You believe in for a mate? Take him or her when you pray. The right one in Jesus' name. Take your healing. Take your increase. Take your new job when you pray. Glory to God. Take the salvation of your children when you pray. Jesus is coming back soon. Get in a good church. Go there and feed on the Word. Stay strong. This is Gloria Copeland reminding you that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for joining us on the Believer's Voice of Victory. For this week's broadcasts on DVD or CD, today's product offer, or for more information on Kenneth Copeland Ministries, visit our website at kcm.org. While you're online, you'll discover a resource of faith-based teaching and free information to help you find the answers you're looking for. If you need prayer, call Kenneth Copeland Ministries prayer line today. When you walk by faith, everything is going to be all right. Don't miss the 2012 32nd Annual Southwest Believers Convention in Fort Worth, Texas, July 2nd through 7th. Six dynamic days designed to surround you daily with the power of God's Word. Jump into this opportunity to discover your full potential and release the blessing in your life. Get covered by faith-filled daily doses of God's Word with teachings from Kenneth Copeland, Gloria Copeland, Jerry Savelle, Jesse Duplantis, Creflo Dollar, Keith Moore, and Bill Winston. Friday morning, join Kenneth Copeland for a dynamic partners meeting. And Saturday morning, Gloria Copeland teaches healing school. Come expecting to receive your healing. Terry Copeland Pearsons hosts pre-service prayer Monday through Friday, and youth services are available Monday through Saturday. 1440 Student Ministries equips students to make every minute count for the glory of God for grades 7 through 12. Commander Kelly and the Super Kid Academy will be in session for kids ages 6 through 12. It's all free July 2nd through 7th, the 2012 Southwest Believers Convention. Come celebrate the 4th of July with us.